Hello, dragons! And we're back with another Project Zomboid Mod Showcase. This one's featuring the Armored Motorhome, the very first interior motorhome available. There's a couple of things I do need you to note, and that is you do need to make a new save game for this to work. Challenge maps are not supported, unfortunately. And in order to put this into multiplayer, you do have to have the vehicle matching the mode. So if it's single player, single player, vehicle, or multiplayer, choose that vehicle. But anyway, I'm excited to show you guys, so let's go! Starting with the front view, back view, and side view for you guys. And moving on to the back of the vehicle, this trunk does not have an animation, but it does have a maximum capacity of 270. It's freaking awesome, dude. And onto the front of the vehicle, there's no animation on the hood. However, here is the information available to you. If you wish to pause the screen, go ahead and do so. Moving on to the inside of the vehicle, you do have to access it from the side door there. And here are your options here, pretty much all standard. We're going to start with the horn. Horn's pretty much standard. Moving on to the headlights. Here we go. Boom, 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 boom. I don't know where they're coming from, but as you can see, there is headlights on this thing. Cool. And now, for the nice bits of this thing, we're going to move into the inside of the vehicle. To do that, just go ahead and hit your seats, and then choose the third option here, and boom. You'll get this nice little window here that says enter. You say yes, and bam, dudes, we're inside of that nice freaking awesome vehicle. Look at that, dudes. So inside of the vehicle, it has tons of things for you to do. You have a fireplace on the left there. You have a fridge over here. You have a nice little oven, a microwave, and a bunch of containers down below. There's also an upstairs. Oh yeah, and if they ever decide to add bowel movements to the game, there is a nice little toilet to the right there. Upstairs, you have a nice little washing machine as well as a sink and a couple of containers here for more storage. I believe they hold 50. Yeah, pretty much all the storage containers are 50. And there's a little drawer over here with a maximum capacity of 20 as well as a bed and a sofa. Now a little bit more about the vehicle. There is light switches inside of both the first and second floor. This could make your game much easier because the power never shuts off. However, water does. So the only way to get water is there are two barrels that are hidden above you. And the only way to get water into these machines here, the washing machine and the sink, is to use the regular old plumbing system. So you're going to go ahead and right click here. You're going to see plumb blue combo washer driver. Go ahead and do that, but you need a pipe wrench. Once you're done doing that, you're going to go ahead and plumb it up. There it goes. Boom. Just like that. Now we're plumbed up. We can go ahead and wash your clothes if we want to. We can also drink from it. That's interesting. Go ahead and do that. Boom. Done. Thirst quenched. Awesome. And one more thing to take note of is you must take care of this vehicle because once it's lost, it's gone forever. Sorry, guys. If it's burned up, whatever, you smash it, it's done. That's it. Game over. And to get out of here, you just go ahead and right click and hit the exit here. Boom. We're out. There it is. Now hit the E key. And you're out of the whole vehicle. Freaking sweet, dude. And that there is the armored motorhome. The very first motorhome with interior. It's freaking awesome, dude. And something different here. This is not the only mod in this mod showcase. This thing's parked in a mod, dude. Here we go. The rabbit hash. KY mod. Freaking sweet. I'm going to go and walk around. I'm going to explain more about the vehicle, though. So as you can see, I'm not going to do a test drive on this vehicle because I've done many. I spent like a few in-game days on this vehicle and all I can say is it's hard to maneuver, it's hard to get around things, it's hard to make turns, you have to take wide turns in order to make it successful. I do not suggest this to be your main vehicle. I think it should be parked somewhere and then get a bike or whatever you can and use that as your main vehicle because this is way too big, hard to maneuver. But it does this thing. It is a mobile base, so you can actually bring this to Louisville or what have you. Park it, and then go ahead and run back and forth. Get your things, bring it back in there, what have you. Even make, like, another base, and then park it next to that base. Whatever you want to do It's pretty much awesome that you can do all this stuff. If you really like the survival aspect of the game, and you do like the power going off on you, and having to get power generators and what have you, then this mod might not be for you. However, if you've done all that, and you're ready for something new, this would be awesome to check out. I like it. I think it's really good. I strongly recommend it. It's also never been done. And maybe if you're new to the game, it might help you along. So I definitely recommend it for that too. When I get back to live streaming on a regular basis, then I'll probably cover more of these map mods. But for now, I'm just going to show you a little bit of the map. Not all of it, unfortunately. However, I do suggest this map. I had a really good time in it for the few hours that I spent in it. There's a lot to do. A lot of fun. The zombie population is not too big. It's more kind of like Riverside. So if you're new to the game, it probably wouldn't be too bad for you. Mostly the reason why I chose this map for this mod showcase is because it's going to help me in future videos, not just this one. Other than that, I'm going to have all the links available to you below in the description. And that is going to be for the Rabbit Hash map as well as the armored vehicle here. And that's going to be it for this video, guys. If you like this video, go and dragon smash that like button and subscribe. Become one with us, dragons. And I hope to catch you in the next video. Goodbye for now.